As you are aware, Aptera has stated over the past year or so that they require approximately $50 million to reach the production stage, and that doesn't even take into account their type of basal burn rate. In addition to their basal metabolic rate, they require $50 million. By basal metabolic rate, I mean the amount of money required for day-to-day -day operations. If Aptera were an animal, they would require more to attain vehicle production and they've been looking for large investors to help them reach the $50 million mark. They've been talking to sovereign funds, family offices, and large institutional investors for over a year, and possibly longer. So far, we haven't heard anything about them getting a significant investor of that caliber. And it does not appear that they have one. And they're just not telling us about it because whenever they've been asked whether they have enough money or if they've found that huge investor, the answer has always been no. Their reactions haven't been the kind you'd expect when there's a potential breakthrough that they're trying to keep quiet until it's formalized. We haven't heard any uncertainty remarks like, we can't talk about it. The response has always been, no, we don't have it. Someone asked Sarah Hardwick about it at one of the recent Solar Summer events, and she emphatically cleared the air to declare, no, unfortunately, they have not located anything. Chris Anthony acknowledged in the most recent ambassador meeting that they have yet to find a significant investor. This claim was reiterated in their most recent SEC filing. Even in past SEC filings, they haven't explicitly stated that they had some major financial investors backing production. Indeed, Aptera has repeatedly stated in the last six to a year, in addition, we anticipate reaching the vehicle production stage will require at least $50 million in addition to our current monthly operating expenses. Aptera has always stated that once they have money, it will take them nine months to deliver to customers. And because they haven't received a substantial investment, Aptera could be in a state of limbo with no idea whether production or even delivery will take place. Hello and thanks for stopping by. To support the work we do, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe and click the bell notification feature so you'd never miss out on more informative content as this. So, with the ensuing delays to scale production, there is the fear that Aptera may not enter production as Steve and Chris have so claimed for years now because of the absence of the necessary funding to scale production. And from one light, it is a genuine concern. But then again, as we get closer and closer to production, we can expect that Aptera will get more and more media attention. We're talking more mainstream press, and coupled with production intent vehicles, people will really start to love Aptera and spread the word. Why is that relevant? Because it's at that point that Aptera would be exposed to some big pocket investors. Until then, Aptera still seems to have a lot of mechanisms to get this company funded and into production. So, from one perspective, it may be safe to not get over worried about the lack of a billionaire investor backing Aptera. Moving forward, a follow up to that can be. Will Aptera be able to start production if they don't find that inspired billionaire? Well, a short answer. Not at the same rate that, that they had anticipated, but absolutely, Chris and Steve have a plan for that. Basically, Steve says that they think that they are looking at four distinct pathways to make it to funding. And it's still unclear if that refers to the ATV and loan, or they're doing some debt financing, or they're thinking that the crowdfunding is going to become huge or they have some couple of large investors that are very interested in seeing like they're going to pull the trigger, but it seems like they have multiple options. And at the end, they said, no matter what happens, they have a plan to make it to production. Even if they make it to production, but not at scale, producing little by little at that point. It sounds like they need the 50 million or maybe even more to do full scale production. The 40 vehicles a day, but the determination of Chris and Steve shows that they are ready to hand build these cars if they have to, maybe producing one a day or two a day or a small amount, just so that they get to deliver vehicles. And now, let's take a brief look at Aptera's progress so far. Aptera has already begun receiving production parts, which include everything required to construct production intent vehicles at its final assembly site in Carlsbad, California.
The introduction of these initial production parts that will be used to produce Aptera is a physical indication of their progress and future accomplishments. Each component of the vehicle has been meticulously developed to retain efficiency and lightweight construction, employing robust, safe, and highly lightweight elements, allowing you to drive further with less. We also know that more than 60% of the critical equipment and tools utilized in the creation of Aptera's body and carbon have been finished and commissioned. These include the stamping dies and post-process tools used to shape carbon fibrous MC into Aptera's body sections with up to 5,000 tons of force. If you haven't seen it yet, we highly encourage that you do so right now. When compared to other vehicle zones equipment and tools, these tools have the longest production lead times and are the most capital intensive. The body sections for the production intent builds, or PI builds for short, are also being stamped right now. The Aptera team will employ PI builds for more testing and validation in the coming months. They will have the appearance and performance of a production car. These body parts are thoroughly validated using a coordinate measuring machine. CMM, to ensure adequate thickness and surface tolerance. Aptera Motors has also received a substantial competitive advantage in its mission to change the mobility business. Aptera recently received a tax exemption from the California Alternative Energy and Advanced Transportation Financing Authority for $81 million in equipment acquisitions to outfit their cutting-edge plant. This outstanding award presents Aptera with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to accelerate its efforts, drive innovation, and establish its position as a market pioneer in the electric car market. So they effectively have the molds. They are producing those items. They want to manufacture 16 of these production-ready automobiles. And if they can create automobiles for manufacturing, they can also make vehicles for customers. And it appears that their strategy is to hand-build these things one at a time until they find the financing to scale. And if that's the route they want to take, it does make a bit of sense because, once deliveries start happening, irrespective of the scale, more and more people will want to invest, and that will bring them closer to their funding goal to scale production, since they've got a product that's being produced and being sold at that point. It will thus become a much better value proposition for investors, that is, large investors, and they're going to do it. So it's getting clearer and clearer that they have a plan to get to production. And that plan to production, though it may be low value, is not dependent on additional funding. They have the resources now to make it until the time for funding. And that's where we wrap things up for today. We would like to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Be sure to also like, subscribe and activate the notifications feature so you'd never miss out on more informative content as this. Thanks for watching.